All right, staff, let's take a look at our preferences under Customize and Preferences. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to General, and I've set my scene levels. Yours are probably going to be on 20, and I've set mine to 200. So if I hit OK, what that means is if I start manipulating objects and I hit Control Z, it will go back. And on the default, it will only go back 20 times, but now it will go back 200 times. So this is going to use your RAM, but it does mean, you know, if you go off on one and start creating things and you want to go back, you can press undo 200 times, which is pretty handy. So let's go back to the preferences. So make sure that's on. Another thing we want to look at is in files, just make sure auto back is on. I usually have it on free and interval time of 10 minutes. Yours might be default to five. Sometimes it kind of locks up when it's saving. But what this does is if you do crash max and say you, you've been building away and max closes for whatever reason or your computer shuts down, your your 3ds max is always backing up versions of what you're working on. So you'll always be able to go back and find the latest modified one and open that up. And just one last thing to check is the gamma. So just make sure enable gamma is on. Um, I mean, if we turn it off, and we look at our materials, you'll see that they're really dark and not looking very realistic. Whereas if we turn Gabba on, hit OK, and open up materials, that's how it should all be looking. So that's just some initial setup just to make sure that we're starting out right. Next, let's take a look at the interface. So up here, we've got the main menu. I don't use this very much. I pretty much just use it for saving and um, starting new scenes. Sometimes I use it for grouping objects, but all in all, I don't really use it that much. Over here, we have the command panel. This I use all the time. I use it so much, I would recommend just click and uh, put and drag that out so that you can have more space to play with this. This really is the home of 3ds Max. This is where we're gonna create objects from. We're gonna modify them. You also got hierarchy, motion, display and utilities but these first two create and modify are what we're going to be using most and then here we have the viewports so this is where we see what's going on what we're creating and currently we have four viewports so we've got the front top and left and over here you'll see that we can actually change the viewport layouts which is kind of handy again i don't really use this toolbar very much i normally have it just on one viewport or four, but I'll show you how to do that later on. Next up we've got the ribbon. The ribbon is up here. Click this button just to drop it down. So this is mainly just modeling tools, so we can go into that a bit later. And down here we've got the time slider, which is for animation, and we've got the play button, stop, uh, move frame by frame. So the control is here, and we've also got how to keyframe it here. And you'll see that this this set of dialog boxes, they just move things around so we don't have to use the gizmo, which I'm going to show you in a moment. But these can be quite handy. And then in the bottom right, we have viewport navigation. So this is how we zoom in and out and move around. We don't need all of these menus all of the time. So what I'm going to do is just hide some of them because we're not going to be doing any animation for a little while. So you can just click and drag on these double dotted lines and pull them off. And you'll see, you can just close them here. So you can just start tearing them away and closing them. And even this ribbon, I don't really use. So we can click this button here, show ribbon. So we're gonna close that for now. And you've probably got this view cube on, which I never use. So I'm just gonna turn that off here, show view cube, hit apply and okay. So what we're doing is just minimizing the menus and any functions that we're not going to use. This will speed up Max and also um, unclutter it a little bit. 